Ben, a great musician in his own right. Shooter Jennings uh, joining us for the next 30 minutes or so. Then I'm going to take specific calls only on intel from police, military, and medical workers about forced inoculations and quarantine that's starting to come out in the news. What are you being told behind the scenes? That's coming up. Uh, and we're going to get Shooter next time he's in Austin, Texas, in studio for a full hour with us. You know, I'm a big uh, Willie Nelson, Waylon Jennings uh, fan. I love the high women. Grew up listening to Waylon Jennings. And uh, we got a world exclusive today. Shooter's album isn't out yet. And uh, the uh, new song is called uh, Wake Up. We're going to be telling you a little bit about that uh, coming up before he leaves us and playing a few of these new tracks off of his new album that's coming up. But uh, we found out that uh, Shooter uh, is a fan of the show, and we're a fan of his work and his dad's work. And so we thought we'd get him on here, talk about his music, talk about the New World Order, and talk about what his dad would think today, looking at the politics going on in this world, because Waylon Jennings did pioneer outlaw country music. So it's a good to have you here, Shooter. Man, it is great to be here, Alex. It's nice to meet you. Like I said, I'm a fan of yours, and when I was doing this new album, that I've done. I'm going to play this song off of uh, here. The, when I was doing this record, I, I did a lot of research into your world and what you do and, and our, people like David Icke and all these different writers and the whole, everything going on. And one thing that I, we, me and my girl, Dre, that we have, my fiance, we're like big fans. We've gone through all the stuff and we, uh, we watched Dark Secrets inside the Amy and Grove because that was a big part of the, uh, my kind of research and what I was going to write into this album. And I was looking at that and that must have been, that was a trip, man. And I have to say, I have to get your approval because I actually used the sound clip of some of the sounds with the crickets and everything that were going on in the background and used them on the song on the record. When sure, you were use there it. I'm honored. I'm honored, Shooter. <laughs> well, it's, you know, it was just one of those things that when that funeral pyre and that whole thing was going on, it, it was a trip, man. I mean, I literally watched it probably 10 times. It was so freaky. You must have been freaked out being there. Well, I mean, at first I wasn't freaked out till I saw the old men getting really upset and excited, and they were taking it very serious. And I realized, my God, I'm really in the middle of a eyes wide shut type meeting. So I'm uh, honored that you did that. Uh, of course, Shooter was born Waylon Albright Jennings, was born Roland, the only child of Waylon Jennings and Jesse Coulter. He lived his first few years in the crib on his parents' tour bus. He said, I thought everybody's family was like mine, he remembers. Uh, again, it's great to have you here. When did you start waking up to this whole global system, and what would your dad think of the world today? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting you ask that, because my dad was a, he was a very individual, uh, he had a very individual political view, because he wasn't, he didn't really ever support anybody that was in office, but if it's, if he could recognize when things were done right and wrong. But I think if he were to see what's going on now, he would agree with us 100%. I mean, what there's a, a farce going on, and the world is changing, and it's and it's getting closer and closer to being in the grip of the United Nations and everything that's going on. It's scary. Well, you know, we know we've got Willie Nelson against the New World Order. He comes on the show, and and uh, so it's 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 great to hear from Waylon Jennings' son that. Uh, that uh, Waylon would have been on board against this. But, I mean, we're, what else would he do? He was a great guy and a great patriot. Uh, so so, so, getting back to you, Shooter, when did you start to figure out there was a bigger picture? Really, I, my kind of awakening to all of this was in the last three years. I really didn't pay as much attention to what was going on. And I was, I'm a real big fan of Coast to Coast AM, and I've been listening to that for about 15 years since I was in high school. And, and I have to attribute part of it to David Icke, because even though his philosophy is pretty nuts at the end of it, you know, his message is, is ideally the, the true message. When I, when I heard him on the air, it completely made me start digging. And I had known about you, but then I started watching all your episodes. I mean, I watched all your stuff on the swine flu when that first broke, and your interview with Ike, and then I, I, you know, Bohemian Grove, and really dug into that world, and then kind of absorbed as much of this as I possibly could. And sure, well, found Ike, uh, I mean, Ike is a visionary, and has certainly woken up tens of millions of people, and his idea of the mind revolution, breaking free of the control paradigms is uh, just absolutely powerful. So we're blessed to have David. Go ahead. Yeah, I know. I, I agree. And, and, you know, but for me, after I absorbed all of it, you know, I kind of 
it, it made me look at the world differently. And I had already started, the reason I started caring is because, you know, I've, I just had a daughter and uh, she's oh, going to be two in November. And, and that there was something that my woman had been telling me to do for years, but I didn't figure it out until I had this little girl who was living with meaning and really digging in and the representation of truth and the importance of truth and being a true person. And it really changed the way I, it motivated my life. So when I found out about these things, I, fa- I felt, you know, that it was... I had to dig, and I had to find all the answers myself. And I studied, you know, the Masons and went deep into all these different sects. And I have all these books, everything from the occult to the other thing. I just familiarized myself with what was going on and the terminology and everything. And it really brought me to this completely, I feel like a completely different person when I see the world. And I see how how much of it is just right there in front of our faces with the television and with in school and things they do, the way they set you up, you know, for life. You think that your whole job is, is, is to make money and die, but you can make a difference, you know? Absolutely. And that's what's so exciting about the awakening that's happening across the board. That's why the controllers are trying to bring all these different control mechanisms in. Your website is shooterjennings.com, and we'll... Put that up on screen. All it has is tour dates. You know, I'm actually playing tonight with Willie in Newkirk, Oklahoma. You were talking about that. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell folks about some of your tour dates coming up. You're playing with Willie tonight. Yeah, I'm playing with Willie tonight, and tomorrow we're playing in Abilene, Texas. And uh, then we had a show with Cross Canadian in Lubbock the next day, but it got canceled because of this Texas Tech stuff. So we're all going home, and then we're launching a tour with this band, J.J. Gray, in Mofro. So you can, you know, we're just kind of out there preparing for this album to come out. And then when it comes out, we're going to go do a big tour with that. But the album is such a different step and it has such a, it's rooted in exactly what we're talking about and waking up. The whole album is about truth and waking up. And so I'm excited to get this music out there and really go and promote something that I think could maybe wake up a couple people. In fact, we've got your website on screen right now. Uh, it looks like crap. It looks like crap. No, no, it looks up. great. Stop it. No, but it's got an alarm <laughs> clock, and it's flashing uh, in green, wake up. And uh, we're going to go to break here in a moment. We're going to come back in with a world exclusive here on the air, uh, Shooter, and I appreciate you doing that, uh, of your uh, new title track, Wake Up. And so hey, I'm excited no, to, to no, uh, have that here. There's no better form for this song, and I knew that it was the opportunity for the first piece of music to be heard would be right here, and with this song, it's perfect. Well, that's exciting, and obviously Willie likes it because you're playing with him uh, tonight. Uh, Say hi to Willie for me. I haven't uh, called him in the last few months, and I need to uh, stay in touch with him. We all get so so busy. uh, Months and months just flip by, but uh, tell Willie I said hi when you see him tonight. He's no stranger to that, and neither is any of us. So I absolutely will, buddy. We know what he'll be doing on the bus this evening. <laughs> reading books. <laughs> yeah, yeah, reading books and. Uh... <laughs> oh my God! Oh, you know it was Love fun it. being with Jesse Ventura and Willie on the bus. Oh man, I bet that was insane. <laughs> oh, that was insane. That was insane. <laughs> Up there playing chess with Willie too is always fun at his house. Okay, Shooter, uh, we're going to go to break here in just a few minutes. Tell me tell me about some of the other songs on the album. You say one of them's got some kind of background stuff from the Bohemian Grove in it. Yeah, that's a song called Summer of Rage that I have on the album. That kind of deals with um, the coming police state to some degree, and, and you, which you're no stranger to. I mean, that, that you got all those movies you made about it. And it's like kind of dealing with, you know, it actually deals with them building the mass graves in the state and things like that. I mean, there's, you know, it, it's a pretty heavy song. But the whole album, it doesn't all deal with this. It's like there's moments that touch on this, but it touches a lot on the truth and love in your heart and the importance of that and the importance of two people being that, like two people in a, in a you know, two points connecting is like the most important thing on the planet. So it, it deals with basically all these things, you know? Well, it's like that Don Henley song, Inside Job. Yeah, We're going to change song. the world individually, one person at a time. And when we stop watching so much TV, when we stop fighting with each other, when we start really getting centered and not being as materialistic, that's when we can actually see the wider universe and not be completely controlled by Madison Avenue. Absolutely. That, I mean, that is, you couldn't have said it better, man. That's the truth. 
you know, and that's a lot of the focus on this. And that's I'm I'm really proud that we've worked over a year on this record, and, and it's like I feel like it's going to be something that, if anything, will express the importance of truth. You know. When is the record coming out? I know this is a never before heard song we're about to hear, but when is it coming out officially? It's going to come out sometime in the early 2010. We're aiming in February, but we we don't have a firm date yet. We will soon. But we we were originally going to put it.